Hey everyone, welcome to Haru Apps Podcast number six. This is topic number two, and I'm going to talk about Aesis Partition Master. Now, I'm never sure how to pronounce this word for that company. It's spelled A E A S U S. So I think it's Aesis. And uh, they got a really good software. Uh, just visit their website. Uh, they got good tools, all free. Well, some of them are. are premium versions but they have a lot of free tools and um, you can find the program on my website and you can type in the search field just type partition and you will you will find uh, Aesis partition master all right what what is this program about well it is a partition manager and some let's say you want to make your partition bigger or smaller or you want to uh, change the name of your partition. Now, for people that are new, I'll show you what a partition is. Go to your uh, Windows machine and right-click on Computer and click Manage. This will bring you a Computer Management screen. Click on Disk Management. This will show you details about all the hard drives that are on your system and it will show you th how much space is being used and the name of the different partitions and such. So let's look at my main hard drive where my Windows is installed. It is usually the disk zero and we can see that this is a system reserved and it's, uh, it is a partition created by Windows when it's installing Windows 7. And the second one is uh, my C drive, which is basically where all my programs and windows are installed. You can see it's a 74 gigabyte. And what this tool allow you to do, like I'm talking about the Windows built-in tool, um, which is an add-on to Windows 7, because before Windows 7, you couldn't do this uh, without using a third-party software. So you can right-click on the partition you want, and you can shrink the volume. Now what it will do, it will look for the space that's available and it will ask you to enter the new, you know, the size of the volume and you can make it smaller. Uh, now just a word of caution, before playing with any tools that have to do with partitioning, make backup because trust me, I'm speaking from experience, something will go wrong and you will lose all your system. You will try to boot and you, guess what? Next time you boot, it will not boot. Your system is screwed up and it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to restore to get your data back. So if you have pictures, documents, whatever, back it up somewhere else to an external drive or back it up online somewhere using some online backup services and... Uh, you, that way you will be safe. All right, I'm just going to quit. All right, there we go. So it says, you know, what's the size? The size of the, the partition is 76 gigabyte. And the size of available shrink is 10 gigabyte. So that means I can only make it smaller by 10 uh, gigabyte. Because I guess all the rest is being used. So it cannot make it smaller than that. Otherwise, it would have to, you know cut off some of my uh, existing partition and I would lose data. And you say shrink and it will shrink your partition and you will have an art of partition that you can rename and put stuff on. So let's look at um, ACES Partition Master. The interface is quite uh, easy to look at and the way it's set up, you have your menu bar on the top with all the options. On the bottom, or so I'm sorry on the left there are some th different panes uh, the first one is the wizard which allow you to create a backup uh, or a disk copy so you, you have your C drive you want to copy it somewhere else this will do it it will also make a copy of your partition um, it will create um, it can actually recover your partition if something happens and now there are a couple of options in the partition operations. Once you have a partition selected, it will say, well, you can resize, you can create, delete, uh, copy the partition, defrag. So what I'm going to show you is, let's say I got my C drive here on the top, 
and I want to resize it. So what's in pink? There's a, a pink highlighted, um, the edge of the partition are highlighted in, in pink. So this shows you that this is one partition. What's in yellow inside that partition is how much space is being used. So as you see, mine's almost full here. So, um, but let's say I want to shrink it. I'll go to the end of the box on the right and I'm going to select it and you're going to see a little cursor that will change to uh, an arrow, like there's going to be a left and right arrow. So I'm going to shrink it and see, as I'm shrinking my, my partition, it says on the right how much space is being unallocated right now. Unallocated means it's not allocated for data to be written to. So, and now as if I do, apply, if I click on apply here on the top menu, it will resize my partition to the one I just did here. And I'm going to have like 82, um, sorry, eight gigs basically of unallocated space. So as soon as my partition uh, reaches, you know, well, well, which is almost full right now, it will, it will not be able to copy more stuff to it. So that's it. So if you want to apply the changes, click apply and you can click undo if you want to. Uh, if you not, do not want to uh, apply the changes. Now I'm going to click at the on the uh, C partition and I'm going to say label. I'm going to click on label and here you can change the label. I'm, you can call it. I'm going to call it new partition. Click OK. And there you go. See my name now for my C drive will be called new partition. And I'm, I'm going to apply. Well, I don't really want to do it, but if you click apply, it will make the changes and it will be um, it'll be applied. So now if you want to copy a disk, what's that for is let's say you want to change your hard drive. You want to put a bigger one or something. Well, you can copy the disk and this is a full disk copy. So it will copy the entire disk and copy it somewhere else. So you need to have the data. Uh, or you need to have a hard drive that's big enough to contain this. Now, I don't think, I did not try this, but I don't think you can plug in the USB drive. I think it will only, um, well, you know what? I may have one link. Yeah, I do. I'm just going to plug one right now, see if it sees it. And I'm going to maybe refresh. I'm just going to start it again and see if it will, I'm just wondering if, if you plug an external drive, let's say a 500, 500 gig drive, if it will see it. Yeah, that's what I thought. It only sees, oh, you know what? It does see it. Yeah, it did. It does. There you go. Um, my pain here is just, uh, I cannot make it go any lower, but yeah, it found my disc, which is a small cruiser. So that's good. So you can plug in, like say an external drive, a 500 gig hard drive. And what you would do, you would say, all right, I want to copy my disc. So click on C on your partition. You want to copy, click on the wizard action, which is copy disc wizard. And it will say, um, select source, which is your C drive. So select the C partition and click next. Now this will take some time. It will scan the uh, the content, and I'm just gonna go back because I don't want to do it. It's gonna take too much time. But once it's done, it'll say, "Okay, where do you want to copy it to?" So you select a new disk. Uh, let's say your 500 gig hard drive, external drive, and you will say, "Okay," and it will copy the content of your disk to the new disk. So you can go purchase your new hard drive, put it in your system and uh, run the system recovery tool and it will reinstall the partition to your or the disk to your partition so that's you know how it's done and then you can copy the uh, instead of copying the whole disk you can just copy the partition information um, this will back it up somewhere else as well you say i want to copy c partition and put it to my external hard drive and it will copy the partition information. Um, 
Now, there's one thing that's not available in the free version, and it is the bootable CD. So if you want to restore, um, you actually kind of have to be within Windows, um, which I guess is not very useful if you got a partition error, um, because you will not be able to load this program at all. But there are some other tools. Um, actually, I believe it, it is. Let me just go to their website, because I've used their ASUS backup solution. Yeah. Asus to do backup. Um, this will allow you to do it, and I've used this many times. Actually, I'm going to do a tutorial uh, in the near future about this. It's a very good tool. This one will allow you to create a boot disk and restore a partition or restore a backed up image. And uh, that's pretty much it, folks. It's uh, if you need more help for this, go to their website. They have um, guides on how to do specific tasks. And uh, thank you for watching.